What's going on, Nature Freaks? Jeremy back with another Saturday slap in the face. We are in the panhandle of Florida, um, just outside of Panama City Beach. And I'm with my buddy Brian this time. So no Dave on this trip. I'm just down here with family. Now Brian, he's a turtle whisperer, and he knows this location that we're at is littered with some Gulf Coast box turtles. So we're gonna see what we can get on. Um, hopefully we see some snakes and other stuff too, but we're gonna find some turtles, right? Sweet, we will. All right, let's get it. Nature in your face! All right, check this out, guys. Before we've even headed out, we have a pair of mating Gulf Coast box turtles. So we already got two box turtles, haven't even left the driveway yet. Just out in the open with no shame. <laughs> That's crazy, man. We start another day off good. Now, let's head to the forest. All right, just flip this awesome scarlet snake under here, guys. Look how pretty this snake is. Right around this plywood. I'll show you where it was. Flipped it with the beast of the Midwest Tong here. Doesn't have the belly pattern. With the Scarlet King snake wood all the way around. Super chill snake. Look how beautiful these snakes are. Gorgeous. Heck yeah. Good day in Florida for herps. So we're gonna let it go and keep going. See ya. This is a prime example of how these animals survive. So not really burrowers, but they create these forms. They just shove their shells into leaves and pine straws. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then the turtle's right here. There's a big Gulf Coast turtle right here, shoved into here. Well, I can see its head sticking out on the other side. So we'll sneak in there. We'll get a close-up of that. Brian's over there acting like Tarzan on a log with his sweet hat on. So yeah, I mean, they just just like this, they just kind of push through the ground. You can even see right here, we're probably tunneled through. And bam, 99. Super cool. So it's the first turtle that we're on. You guys can see that. This is the largest box turtle species, period. And this is a decent sized one. These guys are major when it comes to the box turtles. See what I did there? All right, so we uh, picked this thing up to get a closer angle, almost lost an eyeball there. This is a perfect example, I call them box turtles. You guys see this hinge right here? Completely closed the plaster on the front and the back. Can't see any of the turtle now. Little head was peeking out. Not anymore. It's got a few battle wounds here. I mean, these things do get attacked and they just go in there and kind of weather the storm. This one is very heavy. Look at it compared to my face. But super dark shell. Not a lot of cool pattern to it, but it helps them to blend in. So we're stoked. And it's a male, by the way. You guys can see how it's concave under here. I'll do it at an angle. Give you a little. So big boy. Sweet. Let's go. All right, Brian with the win. He's geeking out over here. He's found two. Two of these Gulf Coast turtles. One's right down here. Hanging out, another form. And then over here, this one might have been on the crawl because it's kind of out in the open. Oh yeah, and I can see its head. These are super cute turtles, look at that. I'm gonna get 
some closer shots of this one's face, but look at that. I mean, right here's that one, and the other one's over there. So, I mean, what's that? Maybe 15 feet. So super cool. They're just, oh, no way. I found another one. I just found, while I'm recording, it's a white head. There's two. One's a white head. Two more? Yeah, look, they're right there. That one's a white head. A day of box turtles. Really cool. I don't think I, oh, oh, these are both white heads. Where's the other face at? Oh, right there. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys to see the white face, and then if you look through, I don't know if this is gonna focus. Oh, it did. You guys see that in there? It just blinked. Oh, look at that. Camouflage. Beautiful. That's awesome. Two of them right by each other. Sitting in that dappled sunlight. Unbelievable. All right. All four of these turtles were in the same area. We have two males and two females. What a coincidence. Looks like there was going to be a party, I think. And we were not invited. Look how unshy the males are. But the females locked up tight. See the male with the head out? Female not having it. The front of her shell is pretty jacked up, like something was trying to crack that coconut. These turtles are tough as nails, man. So we saw the pair mating today. And now we have these four. So this is a super healthy population. This is incredible. What do you think, Brian? You having fun? Yeah. There he is. Man, a few words right there. Brian Duraka taking pictures of turtles. Now, Brian just said something to these turtles a minute ago, and I'm not sure what he said. He won't tell me, but he speaks box turtle. So, it wasn't stay, because that one didn't listen. Oh, oh, the female. Look, she's running. She's like, it's our time to go. We're going to have to get. And right under me. Cool. I want to show you guys really quick the comparison between the males and the females. We have the two males and two females here. The big boy here. The little lady here you can see on the plastron heavy concavity here and look at that even though she has a slight indentation um you're not going to confuse these two here also brian was pointing out because he could see from a distance how round these females are compared to the males see how they flare out and she just has this drop off and very rounded shell compared to his a little more pointy in the back so super cool uh dimorphism there that you could see the difference and only the males get the white heads. Um, she has a black head. You can't really tell, obviously. But beautiful turtles. Look at the size difference of that thing. She's like, piggyback ride. But actually, this is how it would work. Which makes sense if you've ever played with Legos as a kid. Okay, okay, moving on. Fifth grade only. Sweet. That turtle's leaving. Sorry, dude. Oh, that one's missing a back foot. You see that? Check this out, guys. This turtle is totally missing a back foot. It did not get into the shell quick enough, I guess. And it has no issue walking through this horse. Just nubbing it. Looks like a vine. It's actually a snake right here. Peninsula ribbon snake. Oh, oh there he goes. Doo -doo -doo -doo, cruising along. I'm not gonna, um, I don't know if I'm gonna grab it or not. 
kind of like to see it on the crawl. There it goes, it's gone. This wet area is perfect for these box turtles right here, guys. They love floodplain areas. They can get down here and they can soak in this water. They will get like almost completely into this mud and just stick their head out of the water. They'll come down here to find food, crayfish, frogs, tadpoles, worms, snails, slugs, anything. All right, we got a uh, carapace here <clears throat> that Brian found. Flip it over, Brian, reveal the sad part. <laughs> so this is the spine and then the ribs are built in there. Look at that, that's super cool to see. You guys never seen the inside of a turtle shell that's it oh, so it's it. oh yeah wait a minute we found the other the other pieces are right here the other parts of the puzzle so this turtle is deceased it's not nude walking around somewhere and that's the bottom half the plastron connected to the carapace here it was crazy it still looks pretty the top of the shell you know mm -hmm. you would think that that's just like a living turtle but awesome very cool find. one more species Beautiful broadhead skink. Look at that red on that head right there. Male looking for the ladies. Insect destroyers right there. These things can put a pretty good uh, bite down on you too. Incredible day for Florida wildlife. All right, Brian, just spotted a female right here. Look at that rando. Awesome. Man, these things are everywhere. We are on the box turtles today. Man. Got it? Yeah, we just walked over here. So cool. Guys, this is insane. We just got done filming that female. And here is another juvenile in here. Like we're just clearing this way. This is insane. They are thick in here. All right, we're blowing it up, man. We just flipped this log and look at this super cool narrow mouth toad. And they're called narrow mouths they have a tiny little mouth. Look at those little, you can see them breathing really fast. Look at that. All right, we got old Eagle Eyes Brian on this one. Walking through these saw palms. And look here, guys. He spotted this turtle under here. How crazy is that? All the way back here, walking by. And the head's out. And see, that's the advantage of knowing where they would sit. And that's where you look. You're not just scanning all over the place. You're looking for the specific kind of hangover cover. And when you look, there they are. So good job, Brian. Awesome find. Crushing it. Crushing it. Man, this place, it's like the box turtle sanctuary. I hope this never gets built on or leveled or anything because this is like this is so great all right guess what we found you'll never believe oh yeah it's another box turtle another white head male gorgeous look how smooth that shell is compared to the uh, younger one that had the yellow beautiful males are like not shy at all all right, so we found 11 box turtles so far. Um, finding those four or five in that one area was incredible. The two males and the two females, that just put us right up there. I don't know if we're gonna make it to a dozen. That would be cool, but if not, who cares? I just make a cooler title for the video. This should be like almost a dozen turtles, but we'll see. If we get 12, we get it. If we don't, awesome. All right, guys, let's go look. Maybe we'll get 12, maybe we won't. Hope you're enjoying this video so far. So boom, we got 12. That makes number 12 today. 
What a beauty. This one was like a golden head. Good eyesight. You can see it just looking right back at us. Look at that. We got number 13, guys. Oh, look how smooth and worn down that shell is. We got the Baker's Dozen. Baker's Dozen for today. A big, nice old nail. Yeah. Beautiful. We're just like, hey, let me go back under there. Man, 14. It's a weird number. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Black shell and this big head sticking up. And there's the box turtle. This one only has the yellow on the chin and stuff. Dude, this is insane. It's a lot of box turtles. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, there he goes. See you later, buddy. That was a heck of a day, uh, herping in the panhandle. Just a short little vacation pit stop. Um, me and Brian, we tore it up out here, man. This was the day of box turtles, Gulf Coast box turtles. You know, even found some snakes in there, I'm now towed. Uh, just an incredible day. If you guys enjoyed this adventure, this Florida panhandle adventure, um, hit that like button, sub you know, subscribe, leave some comments, talk to us, all right? I will talk back. Um, if you guys know anything about Gulf Coast, if you have box turtles, if you're into box turtles, let me know. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Nature in your face.